is good. We're blessed, amen? We are so excited about God's goodness. Certainly we greet you in Jesus' name. Thank God for our apostle, the senior pastor of this house, Bishop Coletta Javon. Come on, let's praise the Lord for her. Amen. Come on, everybody shout out, say, hey, Bishop. You know she doesn't like being away from home, but she, thank, praise God, feels um, that uh, Pastor Shannon and I and the rest of us, that we can, we can hold things down as a team. And so what an honor, what an honor, what an honor. Can you just give God praise for the pastoral team here in the church? Amen. Thank God for Shaka. Thank God for the power team. Praise the Lord. God is good. And we greet you, those of you who have, are tuning in and have tuned in. We want you to tune in and, and write in that chat, I'm ready for a word from the Lord. God is good to us, and we are excited. Praise the Lord for our elder, our senior elder, Elder Corto. Let's praise God for him, for all of our elders, Elder Carter, Elder Ladia. Praise the God. God is good. Come on, praise the Lord for our resident pastor. Amen. Hey, it's a great thing to know that God is moving in the midst of his people. And so we have come in this moment to say, Lord, we are here for the next installment of our extreme faith makeover. Come on, can you say that extreme faith makeover God is so good and his wonders to perform if you if you have life and you can stand on your feet would you just stand with us just for a moment thank God that song was ringing in my spirit this morning Psalmist Sinclair our God is champion praise God when I tell you, and when I tell you what we're going to be preaching about this morning, you'll really understand. He is champion. Do you know that on the inside of you is almighty God? That the Bible says... My body, yes. Praise God for Minister Will. Praise God. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see Sister Cheryl Lynn this morning. Praise the Lord. God is good. God is good. Inside of you lives the Holy Ghost. Listen. Listen to what I'm saying. The living, breathing Almighty God lives in us. Corinthians says, know ye not? He was asking them a question. I guess they had forgot. <laughs> Your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. And he says, because of this, you, you got to watch what you do. You got to watch what you say. Not because God going to get you, but because you have the precious gift of God inside of you. Colossians says the mystery that once was hidden from ages to generations is now Christ in us. I'm preaching already. The hope of glory. Listen, the hope of glory. Pat yourself. Say the hope of glory. He lives in me. The Holy Ghost. He lives in me. Listen, that's so important for us to understand, I want every young person in this house to stand up. Praise God. Every young person. If you're youth working, you see a young person that's sitting down, just nudge them a little bit. Young people, hands up. Come on now. In Jesus' name, let's, let's, let's declare in Jesus' name that God is good. Come on. Say it. God is good. God made me. In his good image. God made me. In his good image. Come on, say my heart. My mind. My soul. 
belongs to God. Say, now God is depending on me to work with him. Say, today, this day, I think God's thoughts. I think on things that are good. I think on things that are lovely. I think on things that are worthy of goodness. I think on things that are worthy of praise. I think on good things. Come on, let me hear you. Now, inside of me, my mind, I allow the spirit and the mind of Jesus to think through me. Now, look at your hands and say, hands, you are for healing. You are for deliverance. You are for richness. I know y'all like that. You are made by God to be wealthy. So hands, we gonna watch where we put you cause these hands belong to God. Now put your hand over your heart again. Say heart, you will not be troubled. Heart, you will not be afraid because God has a prepared place for us. Now put your hand over your belly. Say, in the name of Jesus, you are sanctified in the truth of God. And God's word makes you free. And he who the Son has set free is free indeed. Come on, come on, get stronger. And now, because I am the vessel where God lives. Come on, we've gone to work now. Out of your belly, out of your belly, shall flow rivers of living water. Now come on, pray in tongues. This is how you start your day. That's not happening in your day. Something's going wrong. Greater is he that is in you who lives than he that lives in the world. I know that our Redeemer lives. Hey, and he will present you faultless before the throne of God, his majesty, his grace, his glory, his, his hope, his hope flows out of you in the name of Jesus. Now touch your mind, reach up there. I know you can't see it, but it's up there. Say, mind, you belong to God. Say, brain, you belong to God. God made me in his goodness so I have God's goodness in me so mine today we will do God's will now lift your hands in the name of Jesus God has not given you the spirit of fear but power, love, and a sound mind. Say it. God has not given me the spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. Say, I am brilliant. I am bright. I am bold. I am beautiful. That's how God made me. Say, and guess what else? Because I can't forget this. I am Bible-based minded. The word of God, I am hiding in my heart because I don't plan, I don't plan on sinning against him because sin is missing the mark. But I'm made in his goodness, so I'm headed for good things. All right, now look down at your feet, say feet. You are the righteousness of God. He who knew no sin was made sin for you that you might be called the righteousness of God. So see, feet, 
today, we wear boots of peace. And we don't walk in the pathway of the ungodly. We don't walk in the way of bullies. We don't walk in the way of people who are doing the wrong thing. The only time we go in that path is because we're going to get somebody saved. We're going to get somebody filled with the Holy Ghost. So, Fee, today, it's got to be. It's going to be. It is absolutely necessary that this day must be, shall be, is going to be a great day for me and the kingdom of God. So shall it be according to the words of this prophet that prophesies over you. Come on, clap your hands. Hallelujah. Our God, our Namashe, is champion. Yes, Lord. Come on, great champion, rise up big in us. In this moment, great Great champion, show us your mysteries. In this moment, great, great champion, show us who the real superhero is. Grab your Bible, say, this is my Bible. It is God's word to me. Today, I have come to receive this word of God. This word teaches me about those faith muscles that Pastor Shannon taught me about. Today, this Bible is going to change my life. Today, this Bible is going to take care of maybe some stuff that I'm going through. Say, today, look at that Bible. Say, Bible, speak to me. Say, Holy Spirit, speak to me in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, you may have your seats. Praise the Lord for his goodness. Amen. Listen, we've been talking about an extreme makeover. And last week, we talked about the fact, uh, Pastor Shannon, we talked about how God used Josiah, who was only eight years old. We talked about the little, the little, the little girl in 2 Kings chapter 5, Aubrey. We talked about the fact that she was about 11 or 12 years old, and God used her to get a man that had a yucky, yucky skin disease. God used her to help him get healed. So we talked about the fact that God wants us to not be afraid, Paul, that God wants us to be strong and mighty just like Daniel, right? And Daniel had his friends like you and Mikey are friends. So God wants you to be strong, bright, and intelligent because of what God has done, amen? So we are excited about what God is doing. God is good to us. He is great. He is marvelous. And so today, I want to talk to us about how to be a real superhero for Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Because how many of us have a favorite superhero? Everybody in here has a Shout out, shout out what your favorite superhero is. Wonder Woman. Who else? I'm sorry? Superman. Who else? Iron Man. Batman. All right, who else? Aquaman. Black Panther. All right. So we all have some superhero that we really, really look up to. Right, we all have a superhero that, you know, kind of gives us courage. Right, but here's the thing. 
And I want us to really grab a hold of this because this is important because we are under a, what? An extreme, we're under extreme faith makeover. So God is building us up. He's teaching us faith and he's causing us to be all that he wants us to be. And I know we all love the superheroes. I love them. I go and see them. I go, I go to the movies. I watch. I, I check them out. But guess what I've discovered? The superheroes aren't real. The superheroes are wonderful characters, are wonderful Marvel characters or whoever you care for. They, they, they're not real. And the things that they do, it's not real. <laughs> now that doesn't make them bad. Say so she's not throwing shade. But I want us to understand that roadblocks, it's not real. <laughs> TikTok is people, some people making up stuff so they can get likes. TikTok is also a devil's tool to get us, teach us things that we don't, we shouldn't know. And then TikTok has some great, wonderful things. But what I'm saying is, they not God. I said... All of the things that we are embracing and that we love, you know, we talked about a couple of weeks ago, we talked about we got to be careful that uh, we don't let those 6,000 thoughts that we have every day, we don't let those 6,000 thoughts get caught up in the wrong thing, right? You remember that? Okay, you better talk to me. Talk to me now. So I want us to really understand who we really are. Say, she wants us to know who we really are. Because most times we fantasize so much about all that stuff that we forget that we belong to God. Say, I belong to God. You know, and when we don't, when we don't make all of the points that we try to, that we're trying to make on the, we don't get all the likes and we start feeling like nobody likes me, that I'm not good. I just told you God made us good in his image. Right? So, I want to help us solve maybe some problems. Can I do that today? Now, as I said, we all have superheroes, and, you know, we love it. And I gave you a picture with some of them on there on the front. You know, there's Thor and Spider-Man, there's Wonder Woman. But above all of them, what do you see? I'll shout it out, up. You see a Bible. You see kids worshiping. What's that on top of their head? A dove and, and fire. Wow, what else do you see? You see a cross, what else? A sword, what else? A shield, what else? Wow. You, do y'all see that all of those are above? So is, is Pastor Val saying, that they're better than the superheroes? Say, yes, she is. Because <laughs> you see that one guy in the middle there? He has on the whole armor of God, and we're going to talk about that today. Because I want you to understand and look at your neighbor and say, hey, guess what? You are a superhero. Pastor Shannon. You are a superhero. What you do in that school every day, 
you a superhero. Sister Tracy, you are a superhero. What you do, walking that, walking that floor in that hospital, you are, you are God's healing hero. Come on, Pastor Vanessa, is that you? You are a superhero. All the young people who come and sit at your desk with all of the things that they're going through, and God somehow gives you the wisdom to tell them how to do better. You are a superhero. I want you to think about who you are and what you do. What is your profession? What is it that you love to do? You might get paid for it and you might not get paid for it. I want you to know, everybody in this room, everybody who's watching me over the World Wide Web, that's people all over the place. You know, it's people in Asia and China. They're watching us right now. People in the down under, people in the jungle who just got a, they got a signal for about five minutes. You are a superhero because the Holy Ghost, he lives inside of you. There is no greater power than Jesus' power. Say it. There's no greater power than Jesus' power. Now, parents and young people, I want you to get in the habit of saying, in the name of Jesus. We about to practice. One, two, three. In the name of Jesus. Not in the name of Roblox, not in the name of TikTok, not in the name of YouTube and all those other places. In the name of I can't hear you. You got to begin to function and live in the name of You're going to see in a minute why I'm saying that. It's important that you understand that in the name of Jesus, you couple the name of Jesus along with prayer and your ability to pray in tongues, to pray in the Holy Ghost. You are undefeated. Hello? I said you are undefeated because you have the name of and you have speaking in tongues. Say, I have the name of Jesus and speaking in tongues. Now, if you speak in tongues, speak in tongues right now. Let me tell you something. When you say the name of Jesus, Jesus and all the heavenly hosts come to attention. The whole host of heaven and all of the angels come together and they like, oh, what does Deshana want? Oh, my goodness. What does Demira want? Oh, my goodness. What does Robin, what does little Robin want? What does she know? In the name of Jesus. And she soon will speak in tongues. Come on. It's important that we understand that we're the superhero. Say, I'm the superhero. I want you to really understand that. Because if you don't understand who you are, then you will do anything. Or you might do nothing. And Jesus and the Holy Ghost are depending on us. Say, Jesus and the Holy Ghost are depending on me. Because I am God's extreme faith filled. Superhero. Because you got the Holy Ghost. You got the Holy Ghost. It's very important. It's, it's, it's important. I, I know, I know I, I'm still waiting on you to get out of shock that I, that I said that all that stuff wasn't real, but <laughs> somebody got to tell you the truth. Right? Just because you got 50,000 likes, all them people don't like you. Say what? Just cause just just because somebody flips past 
whatever it is that you put up or, or the game that you're playing, just, that don't make you all powerful. Uh-oh. You mean, you mean if I am a champion on Roblox, are you, you're trying to, you trying to say I just got points? Yep, that's what I'm trying to say. That's all you got. That's why we're raising you up to be healers. That's why we're raising you up to be deliverers. That's why we're raising you up to cast out devils. That's why we're raising you up to tell the devil where he needs to go. That's real power. And that, guess what? Check this out. God keeps up with us. And every time you get a soul saved, it's the only place in the Bible that says this, Elder Court K. Every time you get a soul saved, the Bible says all of heaven stands up and rejoices and say, cool points. Did you know that, Paul? No, I know you didn't know it. Every time you win a soul, Aubrey, every time you win a soul, Mikey, every time you win a soul, every time all of heaven stands up, and rejoices. And here's what the Bible says. I, here's, a, here's a solution. This is, this is for free. You know, when people tell you, you stupid, you so dumb, you, you ain't going to never be nothing. When people say that and call you ugly names and stuff, guess what the remedy is? Don't pay them no attention. You got to come back with the word of God. And so, John 14, yep, I'm coming back. What does it say? But the, I can't hear you, Holy Spirit, whom the Father, he will, what? And bring to all, all that I've said to you. Did he say you were stupid? Did he say you was dumb? Did he say you was a bee? Did he say it? So guess what? That ain't for you. Because the Holy Ghost say you are strong in the Lord and the power of his might. The Holy Ghost says that you are smart. And I'm going to show you in the Bible. We're not going to read the whole story. But I'm going to tell you a little story about how Daniel and his friends, everybody was making fun of them. And they said, I don't care. Throw me in the fire, throw me in the den, do whatever you want to do. I'm not going to bow down. And you know what? As young people, we got we to gotta take our shield of faith and we got to take our place back. Because you already have the power to pray and prophesy. And when you pray in tongues and you prophesy, what do you do? You paralyze who? I can't hear you. You paralyze the devil. The Bible says, Psalm 8, you can write it down in your notes. The Bible says that when children praise the Lord, when the child, that the enemy is literally paralyzed. You say, well, what about the grown people? Well, they should learn how to act like children. That's what the Bible says. Right? So let's go quickly. Because I, I want us to get this. Ephesians chapter 6. Ephesians chapter 6. Because I want us to see this because it's going to be very important. Because we are God's what? Super. Oh, y'all sound so weak. You are what? God's what? We are God's superheroes. And because we are God's superheroes, there's some things that we got to remember. Say, I must remember. Say, last week, Pastor Val, Auntie Val, told me that I got to obey. And she told me I got to obey not the fifth time, but the first time. 
And she about to tell me how I can live a long life when I just obey. So today, I'm going to obey. I'm changing my mind right now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Some adults, we need to say that too. Right, right now, I'm, about to, I'm changing my mind. I'm changing my mind. I'm going to obey the Lord the first time. I'm obeying the first time. Chapter 6, Ephesians. Uh, I'm going to uh, read, um, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, or whoever's in charge of you, which is the first commandment with the promise, that it may go well with you, and that you may enjoy long life on the earth. So, are you saying that I have a, a better chance of living a long life if I obey? Think about that. Think about the last whooping you got. Think about the last punishment you got. Why did you get that punishment? Because you were disobedient. The last time you got in trouble because you was running your mouth too much in school, it's because you were being disobedient. The last time you got on a punishment and you got all of your electronic devices taken away, even the ones that you sneak and have and, and you think your mama don't know, you think your daddy don't know, you think don't, don't nobody know. The reason you got all of that taken away, because they did a sweep. Because you was being disobedient. I know you're feeling some kind of way right now. It's okay. You'll love me later. The reason things are not going well and maybe your grades are not the best that they could be is because you was being disobedient and you didn't do your homework and if pastor shannon came up to you right now and said let me see or tell me about what your homework was over the weekend guess what she's not going to accept oh we didn't have no homework because everybody in here needs to learn their multiplication everybody in here needs to learn their division you that's watching me you it's some stuff that algebra that geometry that english composition that class that work that you were supposed to do that civics you don't like it government you don't like it say obey the first time now i know you thought that that just meant in church guess what say wrong I got to obey in every area of my life, every space of my life. Why do I got to do that? Because the Bible says, say the Bible says, so I can live a long life. Now, that's what the Bible says. Now, t now go down to verse um, 10. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can stand against the devil's schemes. Y'all see that? For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against rulers, against authorities, against TikTok. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, excuse me. Against the powers, the powers of this dark world, touching and feeling and doing stuff I shouldn't do. The, uh, the dark world. And against the spiritual forces that try to take my mind, that try to make me cuss. And I, I'm not even a cusser. Forces of evil. Y'all see that? Is that in your Bible? Is that in your Bible, Deacon Cheryl? All right, I see it. Okay, forces in the heavenly realms. Therefore, say therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you might be able to stand your ground. Say, stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, don't say, they made me my... my uh, Demira made me do it. No. Stand what? Write that down. You better stand your ground. Stand firm then with the belt of truth 
buckled around your waist with the breastplate of righteousness in place and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition, say plus, two plus two is, okay, I'm just checking. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith. Say the shield of faith. Because that's what we need in this extreme faith makeover. It says that the shield of faith, which can extinguish, say put out, get rid of, eliminate, it can extinguish all the flaming arrows. It can, it can, it can extinguish, it can put out all of the ugly words. It can put out all of the ugly things that we even say about ourselves. It can put out those flaming arrows of who? The evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, and pray in the spirit all the time with all kinds of prayers and requests. And with this in mind, keep your right mind. Don't act like you're drunk. Don't act like you're cuckoo. Be alert and always keep on praying, not just for yourself, but for all the saints. Say the shield of faith. So what's the, what's the difference? What's, what, are you, what are you saying, Auntie Val? I'm saying that Superman ain't got nothing on your faith. I'm saying that roadblocks ain't got nothing on your mind. I'm saying that the superhero or that, you know, some of us got friends that, you know, we behold. I can remember I was maybe about, 13 or so, and I had this one friend, and she was a terrible influence on me. Terrible. And the things that I would do when I was with her, it was just terrible. Say terrible. It was terrible. <laughs> Not thinking zero. <you're> <laughs> it was terrible. And some of us have friends that are just terrible. Now, Pastor Val's not saying hate your friend. That's terrible. But you got to stand your ground. And you got to hold up your shield of faith. And you got to learn how to, this is a big word. Are you ready? This is a mystery. N-O. What does that spell? You got to learn how to say no. You need the shield of faith. Say, I am God's superhero. All right, let's go to my notes. Superheroes have limited power. Holy Ghost faith-filled superheroes have unlimited power. That means there's nothing that's impossible with God. Say nothing is impossible with God. All I have to do is exercise or use my faith. Now, here's the great thing. God made us in his goodness, and then God, God did this. Uh, Sister Bridget, God did this. He put a measure of faith already in me. I don't even have to work for that. So God has given me the ability, say God, has given me the ability to get things done. He put faith in me. He made me in his goodness. Now that will straighten out a lot, of, a lot of your warped thinking. So God made me in his image, exercising my extreme faith, facing everything with Holy Spirit power and cuss words. Amen. Calling each other names. Lift your hands, say I repent. Facing everything with Holy Spirit power and God's word. Now, when you come to Power Club, the next time you come, everybody who can tell me what Psalm 119 says, you're going to get a $5 prize. And the person who can quote the whole verse I might even give you, I'm going to give you a Roblox. I discovered this, Pastor Shannon. They even got Roblox credit cards for the kids. 
Girl, yes. I'm trying to tell you. It's called, it's called, it's called kid, they call it kid currency. How about it? So guess what? Whoever can tell me, and it's, it's probably going to take y'all about a month to find it. So go to work. Y'all already, we already gave you tablets, so there's no reason for you not to be able to look it up yourself. Amen. So tell me what Psalm 119 says. Thy, hmm, how can a young man or a young lady keep their ways pure? That's all I'm going to say. But you're going to need to tell me what it say. And Auntie Cheryl, she don't play. All right, so all the superheroes have a weakness that will take them out. Say all the superheroes have a weakness that will take them out. Okay, what's your favorite superhero? Okay, what is what is what is what takes your superhero out? What makes them weak? I'm sorry, say it out. Okay. What else? I want you to think about it. When you see your superhero going down, you'll be like, "Oh, no, they going down." Girl, they ain't real. Girl, listen, let me tell you something. In the Bible, there was a man that outran a chariot. So Spider-Man ain't got nothing going on. Ain't nothing new under the sun, y'all. Outran a chariot. So you know that's pretty fast, right? It's lots of supernatural things. All this stuff that y'all think is great. Uh, listen. There was a man that was riding in the Bible in the book of Acts. He was sitting in the chariot, and he needed to be someplace else. And guess what? Poof! God took him and put him where he needed to be. The superheroes, say it, the superheroes, I'm sorry to say, are not real. But guess who is a superhero? And guess who is real? The Holy Ghost. Say the Holy Ghost the shield of faith, and in the name of Jesus. So it's very important, y'all. It's very important. I'm talking good. And I wrote it down because I want you to take it home and I want you to think about it. Parents, I want you to re rehearse this with them. God, the superheroes have to wait for their help when trouble comes. Right? They can't, if, if, if the superhero is like, Five blocks away, and it's an emergency going on. They still have to wait for the other superheroes to get there. But guess what? Your superhero lives on the inside of you. And the moment you begin to go, in the name of Jesus, all of heaven and God himself come and say, what? Do you need Pastor Shannon? What is going on? The moment that you sense that Pastor Shannon might be in trouble at her school, you can begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Come on. In the, and say, in the name of Jesus. Devil. In the name of Jesus. Devil. Take your hands off. And the confusion that's going on where Pastor Shannon is, it'll stop because you pray. Say in the name of Jesus. So I want y'all to put in the name of Jesus before you say amen. Say in the name of Jesus. And then say amen. All right, all right. So superheroes have to wait. God's superheroes have the living one on the inside of him. God's superheroes have angels who are waiting to help us. Superheroes, look at this, cannot be at the same place at the same time. 
but your God is already where you going tomorrow. Because he's super. He is super, super. And the mystery that once was hidden from everybody, he lives on the inside of you. So that means in this moment, just like Aubrey, a couple of weeks ago, we were in the restaurant, and she said, I just feel like I just want to pray for somebody. And there was a lady there that was sick. Aubrey laid her hands on her, and the lady got healed. Because she knew about faith. She knew that I have healing in my hands. And that's not just something that happens because it can happen all the time. Say it can happen all the time. Because I am God's superhero. So God's superheroes have Holy Spirit who is everywhere all the time. Now Daniel chapter 1 and chapter 3 talk about Daniel and his friends. And let me just give you the gist of the story. So Daniel had been chosen to kind of, you know, be special. Say special. Say we all smart. Ain't no different smart. We all smart. So God set them up, and they wanted, and the king, you know, he was a little cuckoo. He wanted, he wanted Daniel and his friends, like sometimes maybe even grown people want you to do the wrong thing. And, you know, they felt a little pressure, say a little pressure, but I need my shield of faith. So the story goes like this. Auntie Cheryl will tell y'all the, the long version in a couple of weeks. But they wanted them to dance to this ungodly music. Oh, I'm coming for it. They wanted them to, you know, do what y'all do. That's what they wanted them to do. And they said, every time, if you, if, you, if, you want, if you want what we got for you, then every time you hear the music, we want you to twerk. We want you to do that thing. And Daniel said, the devil, <laughs> the devil is a lie. They said, no, if you don't do it, if you don't, if you don't do this TikTok with us, if you don't do this YouTube with us, if you don't do it, we're not going to be your friend. You're going to be dumb. You're going to be bold. You're going to be stupid. And Daniel said, sorry, so be it. In fact, he said, look, God is such so super. God is such a superhero. He's so bad that if he let us die, then so be it. But fast forward, Daniel looked up, and the king was like, they threw him in the furnace. The king was like, who is that in there with them? Guess who it was? The Holy Ghost. So what am I saying? What's, what's Auntie Val saying to you? That whatever bad situation you find yourself in, anybody in this room, if you, there's, a, there's, a, there's another person in that room. His name is Holy Ghost. And if you will just activate your faith, you will exercise your faith muscles. You will lift up your shield of faith. Come on, let's do it. And you will hold up that shield of faith and say, in the name of Jesus, say it. And you say in the name of Jesus, guess what? The Lord is coming to see about you. All right? So we got to have extreme faith. We must have the power of the Holy Spirit. We must obey God the first time. We must obey our parents and all authority so that it will go well with us. Now, I know y'all see all this stuff up here, right? Okay, here's the deal. Life is going to send some ugly stuff your way. The devil, he got his gun all the time. He's so busy. He's so busy. 
And he waiting for a vulnerable moment, for a moment when you're not thinking about it, or for a moment when you're just really mad and you let yourself get out of control. When you be like, oh, I ain't going to, I'm not going to pay no attention to what Pastor Shannon is. She don't know what she's talking about. Shoot, I'm just going to faith muscle. She's my faith muscle. I'm about to take them out. I'm about to take them down. 30 seconds. Give me 30 seconds, Pastor Shannon. All I need is 30 seconds in the bathroom. 30 seconds. And I'm going to solve this. That's the devil. 30 seconds. The devil. Poof. He takes you out. Bzzz. See, look at you jumping. Bzzz. That's what you need to do. You need to jump. You need to be afraid. You need to be mindful. Look at him. Look at him, Pastor Shannon. They scared. What the way y'all scared? You got the Holy Ghost. Say, I got the Holy Ghost. And I got the shield of faith. Show them the shield of faith, Auntie Cheryl. See, the shield of faith lets you know that you're covered by the blood. The shield of faith is able to quench the fiery darts of the devil. But now, if you got the wrong shield, get the other shield, Auntie Cheryl. You got that other shield that be cussing and is a bully and be talking all crazy and stuff. The devil come along, he won't, he changes tools. He'd be like, I'm about to take you out. You, you dummy, you get on my nerves. I can't stand you. You're so stupid. Where did you come from anyway? You should have never been born. He fights you. He talked back to you. Tell you know, you know you you flunked 16 times. Whap! You know you ain't got no sense. Whap! And if you're not careful, you'll go to fighting back. Okay, Dick Show, you take this and that. You'll go to fighting back. Say something ugly. And this is what we do. We be ready. We be ready, Pastor Shannon. We be ready. We be looking out. Hope this Pastor Shannon don't come through the door. Because she hear all that noise in the bathroom. And, 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 and I want to be like, you, you, you. I know that my God is able. Shield of faith. In the name of Jesus. Satan, you have no power. You have no authority. You are under my feet. The only place you belong, devil. It's a real snake in here. The only place you belong is under my feet. Because I have the shield of faith. Because I have the sword of the spirit. I have the blood of Jesus. Say, I have the shield of faith. I have the blood of Jesus. I have Jesus' name. Come on, say, in Jesus' name. Devil, look down at him say, devil, you ain't got no authority over me. Only place you belong is right there where you are, under my feet. Y'all see that? The devil crazy. He crazy. He coming for you. But when he come for you, you better hold up your shield of faith. You better win. Say, I'm a winner. I'm made in the goodness of God. I don't know why I keep saying that, but somebody in here feels like you're not made, you're not good. You're not made in the image of God. The devil is a lie. You are made in the image of God. God made you. He made you fearful and wonderful. Say, I am beautiful. I am brilliant. I am bold. God loves me. And I got power. You got to believe it, children. You got to believe it. You got to understand the shield of faith. 
You got to understand the sword of the spirit, which is what? The word of God. And you got to be able to fight the darts of the devil. Now, don't be crazy. Because the devil will come after your heart. He will come after your heart with ugly thoughts. And what would happen if ugly thoughts got through on this? It'd be like this. Ugly thoughts. How do you think that feels? Terrible, not good. And so now it's, now it's got a blemish on it. It's a little blemish, but you know what? It'll grow if you don't hold up your shield of faith, if you don't use the name of Jesus. So you got to get rid of ugly, ugly, stupid, crazy. You got to get rid of all those things because your heart will start looking like this. But that's not the heart God gave you. God made you like this. God made this heart good. God made this heart to be filled with the Holy Ghost. He, he, he loved you so much that he breathed into you. Whew. His goodness, his love, his peace, his understanding. And all, all along, you got to keep your mind on the things of the Lord. You got to understand that you're fearfully and wonderfully made. You got to decide right now, you who are watching, you got to decide right now, my heart belongs to Jesus. My tongue is for praying in the Holy Ghost, not cussing. My eyes are for seeing the things of the spirit, which we're about to do in, in, in the next five minutes. We're going to see in the Holy Ghost. Because that's, that's how God made us. Because we have extreme faith. And we are what? Super. We're superheroes. So I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. My heart is filled with the praise of God. So if I got a good heart and then I got the shield of faith and I got praying in tongues, and then I win my friends to Jesus and my friend come along and I give my friend the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. What you think is going to happen? We're going to be an invincible team, Right? We're going, to be, we're going to be like the superheroes. They'll be calling for us. Come on up, Aubrey. They'll be calling for us. And we'll take our weapons. We'll, pray, we'll have our weapon. The, we'll have our weapon praying in the Holy Ghost. Right? Come on up, Paul. Right. You going to come along? Come on, pray in the Holy Ghost. You're going to be praying in the Holy Ghost, and then Paul will come along and say, I see the Lord saying. Come on. And, we, and, and guess what's going to happen? Guess what's going to happen? That devil, his, where's his works? Come on up, Brother Doug, for us. Do, do, be a uh, volunteer for us. Come on up, Brother Doug. That devil going to slither away. And the devil going to take that, going to take him, and we're going to take our, let's take our, let's take our weapons. Come on. And pray in the Holy Ghost. Because we the superheroes now. We the power team. Say power team. We the power team, and we coming after. We coming after that devil. We we say in the name of Jesus, be healed. We say in the name of Jesus, tormentors go. We say in Jesus' name, all the good that God has for you comes to you now in the name of Jesus. We say no weapon formed against you shall prosper, but every tongue that wags its tail, that has wagged its tail against you, even as a young man, the devil is a liar. God made you good. You gonna be famous, and you gonna be great. That's what, uh-oh, that's what the power team does. So now, we're going to pray for him, his healing. 
Come on, so I want you to take your healing gun. Come on. Come on, Bobby. Pray for, pray for her. Come on, Paul, you come too. Mike, come on. Any, any of the power team that want to come? Come on. Oh, come on, people, join us. Join us. God is moving right now. We got the shield of faith. Come on. For his healing. Okay, so you want to touch him? Go ahead. Father God, I pray that you will be real and you will be healed in the name of Jesus and that all bad things pass and all good things are in your body. And I pray, amen. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Everybody say, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, Paul, you got something? All right, Paul, Chuck, tell Brother Doug what you see. What's the Lord want him to know? What do you feel the Lord wants him to know? That his life is blessed, and his life will be blessed forever. Amen. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, amen. All right, anything? going to be saved and God brought him next to him. God has him next to him. What is he doing? He's shielding him from the demons and everything. Wow. Wow. He's shielding him. How about that? So, Father, come on, let's lay our hands. We pray for Brother Doug. We thank you, God, for the completing of the work of healing in his body. We thank you, Lord, that as he gets up, God, we thank you that what was bothering him, the headaches at night, the, the things that, 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 that mess up his body, we pray now in Jesus' name for Brother Doug. And God, we thank you that he is the Pavarotti of the church. We thank you, God, that his voice, God, goes to China. His voice goes to England. His voice goes, God, to places that we've not been. But God, we thank you that even in the next week, he's going to, as he begins to sing and as he calls back and he recalls and he steps out in faith, that he has the shield of faith, that he will begin to prophesy, 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 and people will be healed. Hallelujah. Lives will be changed. And even now the Holy Ghost says, hold your shield up. I've given you a weapon. I've given you a weapon that calls literally people out of darkness into the marvelous light. That's why when you see we're blessed, blessings come. So, God, we thank you. We thank you for his life, and we thank you for healing all things neurologically in the name of Jesus, and we thank you for your goodness in Jesus' name. Say, in Jesus' name. Jesus. Come on, pray in tongues. Rakaba shonda bahanda. Yenada Roto si karabahanda bahaya. Oh, rabababashanda bakaya. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. Hold on, team. We thank you, Father, for your goodness. We thank you, Father, for your kindness. We thank you, oh God, that right now, anybody who has sickness or disease in your body, right now is the moment for you to be healed. Come on, if you got something going on in your body. If you need God to touch you, you need us to pray. You want us to pray. You need God to, to move something in you. Up, oh, okay, Pastor Shannon wants us to pray for her hip. Come on, children. Where are you going? In the name of Jesus. Now, Pastor, does it make you limp or what happens? It throbs and shoots. In the name of Jesus. All right, up. Come on, let's pray in hunt tongues. <laughs> Father God, I pray that the hip 
is not shooting, is not thriving, that she could walk straight without yeah. pain, and that she could go wherever she want without pain, and that she could lay down without crying and, and without hip pain. In the name of Jesus, I pray, amen. In the name of Jesus. Now, what do you think? Do you think she maybe should try to lift it up? What do you think she should do? What do you want her to do? You do the thing that you can not able to do. I want you to leave right now in the name of Jesus. I want the devil to stop touching her. I want Jesus to start touching her. I want her I want him to start touching his her hip right now in the name of Jesus. I want her to be able to walk. I want her to be able to pray without crying and in the name of Jesus, I want you to be able to do the things that you can be able to do, and I pray amen. Amen, in amen. Jesus' name. All right, Pastor. Uh-oh, look, right, look at right. it. Look at that. Thank you, Lord. Uh-oh, hold on, wait a minute. It's coming. Okay, one more time, come on. I want you to go. I I said one time I want you to go right now in the name of Jesus. I want you to let go of her in the name of Jesus. I want Jesus to touch her, not you, in the name of Jesus. I want you to go right now in the name of Jesus. And I pray. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. you to flow out her body right now in the name of Jesus. I want Jesus to come on her mind in the name of Jesus. And in, in the name of Jesus, get out right now in the name of Jesus. I pray, amen. Out. And I call out one more time in the name of Jesus. Did you all shine up behind the ocean? 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 Did you did you all shine up on the ocean? 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 Did
say she felt the release. She felt it leave her body. Come on, we got one more person over here. Come on, praise God, saints. You know, pray in tongues. Pray in tongues. Come on, pray in the Holy Ghost just a few more minutes. Praise the Lord. God bless you, brother. What's what you need? sugar level goes up and then make it fall out. So we want him, we, we don't want that, right? We want his kidneys to get together, his pancreas to get together, that part of his body that be showing out, right? All right, okay, let's pray. Jesus, I want the kidneys to be in the right place. I want his blood pressure to be normal. I don't want him to fall out at night. I want him to be normal. I want him to sleep in peace. I don't want him to be feeling bad. I don't want him to be falling out. I want him to be praising God in the name of Jesus. We pray for his kidneys and his blood pressure in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Anybody, Paul, do you see anything, a picture or something that you I see a picture. Okay, go ahead, tell me. I see a picture with you that you um, get saved by God and you won't have any. Um, what is God doing? Is he reaching his hand out? Is he touching him? What is he doing? God is touching you and saying you won't have any. Show me the part of his body where you see God touch you. Just go ahead and touch him. Just his touch kidney. Him. Okay, all right. So speak to his kidney. God said your kidney will, he will, fix, his, he will fix his kidney. He's touching it right now. And he will fix any bone that needs help. Oh. And picture of him having a nice day, not falling out, having a nice day, sleeping in peace. Sleeping in peace. Do you have trouble sleeping? Yeah. <laughs> he said he had trouble sleeping. How, they chilled him. How would they know that? The seal of faith. The Holy Ghost. All right, so let's speak to his sleep. Come on. Father, 
Father God, I pray that his sleep is peaceful and that he won't that he will be able to sleep without a breathing tube and that he will be able to breathe the good air and not bad air and that his hands and his face and his head will be able to to do things that he couldn't be able to do and that he could be walking with the shoes of peace in the right place on the right path and father god i pray amen amen in the name of jesus all right do you feel anything different than when you walked up here what's different you feel like you're delivered praise god and we want you to receive the flag of deliverance come on in jesus name in the name of jesus thank you lord your hold on him now in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, come back. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost be released now in the name of Jesus. My God, we thank you. Come on, hold up the shield of faith, children. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for total restoration. Total restoration your mind to come back, the way of God to come back. The Lord say, ain't nothing changed about my love for you, Will. Ain't nothing changed about the call of God that I have on your life. Yes, you will preach. Yes, you will heal the sick. Yet, uh uh-huh, yes, uh uh-huh, yes, you will even raise the dead, says the Lord. Yes, yes, the men on the street that you have said, God, can I touch them again? The Lord say yes, because in your your praying, in your walking it out, you will bring deliverance. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we rebuke that tormenting devil that talks to him at night, that says, you're going to die. You're not going to die. We rebuke suicide in the... Hey! Manda bosikara bahanda basia. You lying wonder. Let him go. 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 Be free. Be free. Be free. In the name of Jesus. Yep, I just felt that. Did you feel it? Right? It's going all through your body right now. All right. In the name of Jesus. Let one, uh, Elder Corto, one of y'all come, you men get behind him now. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you for the power. And we thank you that as the elder lays his hands on him, a new impartation, a renewal, a rest, a genuine restoration in the house of God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And we thank you. And we thank you. And we thank you. Now, children, I want you to just stand right here and, and let, the flag, let, the, let the holy fire, the flags of fire, wave across you. Come on, in the name of Jesus, lift your hands. Lift your hands. God is doing something. He's, he's transferring. He's doing something. Come on, y'all wave them over them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say it, in the name of Jesus. Say it in the name of Jesus. Say it in the name of Jesus. Say, I got power in the name of Jesus. I can't hear you. In the name of Jesus. Come on, because every time you say it, God does something. Look at Pastor. She's sitting on the edge of the chair. Say it in the name of Jesus. I'm a healer. I'm God's deliverer. I've called me and my brothers, my sisters, my friends. We are for signs and wonders. We are for signs and wonders in the name of Jesus. You don't want to miss this. Come on up. You don't want to miss. You don't want to miss. You don't want to miss the impartation. You're worthy of it. Come on. You're worthy of it in the name of Jesus. Get up here and stand right there next to next to Aubrey. Stand. To, let let Paul Paul you. Yeah, there you go. All right, come on. In the name of Jesus, come on one more time. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, for Allen. In the name of Jesus, for healing. In the name of Jesus, for Robin. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, God. We thank you, God. I will live and not die. 
I will declare the glory of the Lord. I will not be taken away with the vain imaginations, but I am a great thinker. I'm a brilliant thinker. I'm created in God's, that's okay. I'm created in God's image. I'm created in God's likeness. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you for this month. We thank you for five weeks of spiritual impartation. In the name of Jesus, God has not forgotten, and neither have you. But today, a soberness comes to you. Because you heard your own story. That God will allow you to go into the lion's den. That God will allow you to go into the fiery furnace. Why are you scared? Don't be scared. Take the call. Take the call. You say, God said, you sometimes you say, I just, why, why don't, can't I just be like the other ones? He said, because I didn't make you that way. You are my son of salvation, and many will be saved because of you. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the children. Thank you, Lord, for Alan. Thank you for his destiny. Thank you for him, God. In the name of Jesus, thank you for your purpose and your plan. Thank you, God. Aren't these dancers wonderful? These flag wavers, come on, praise God for them. Now, Lord, Pastor Shannon, just come and lay your hand on them. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you. We thank you for, for our dear sisters. We thank you for their lives, God. We bless their lives now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, that you are the God that does exceeding and abundant above all that they can ask or think. And every problem, every situation now comes, now comes, now comes. We thank you, God. We thank you that the anointing that rests in Pastor Shannon as the dancer is transferred now. The anointing to solve problems now in the name of Jesus. The brilliance now in Jesus' name. God, we thank you. We thank you for their lives. We thank you for the children. We thank you, God, as Pastor lays our hands on them. Something magnificent. Say, I am a superhero. I have Holy Ghost fire. Come on, hold up the shield of faith. Say, in the name of Jesus. Say, when I get in trouble and I don't know what to do, I am going to pray in the Holy Ghost. And I'm going to scream in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Clap your hands. I know we've been a little long, but let's praise God for what he's done in the midst of his people. Praise the Lord. God bless. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you for putting up with us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we just stretch our hands toward Pastor Val and just pray for her? That God would just refresh her and replenish her and restore her for everything that she poured out, not just this Sunday, but for the entire month. Amen. Power Club, if you would just stretch your hands toward your leader. Amen. God, we just thank you for Pastor Val, for everything that she's poured out this entire month. Lord, we ask that you would just replenish her, refresh her. God, just pay it back to her, not just a hundredfold, but like, and not even a thousandfold, but like a millionfold, God. Hallelujah. All of the giftings that are inside of her, teaching, healing, prophesying, God, just give it back to her. Let her sleep be so refreshing and refilling tonight, God. Let even the angels that watch over her, guard her even the more dispatch extra angels around her bedside tonight, around the building, around her car, that you would really keep her safe. We know that the children are sacred. God, we know that Dr. Val is sacred to us, God. All of the years that she served the cathedral, Lord, pay her for it. All of the years she's walked alongside the bishop, God, all the years that she led us in praise and worship, that she was our only musician for so many years. God, pay her back for it. All of the years that she taught Sunday school and 
helped get us all in college and helped us with our FAFSA, God. Pay her back for it. All of the books that she gave us when we were grieving and mad and having mother-daughter conflict and son-father conflict, God, all these books we got that she wrote in the front of, God, pay her back, 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 pay her back for the $20 bills that she's folded up and slid to us, God, for every hot fudge cake that we've ate with her as she's poured into our lives, for every massage and every headache oil that she's given to us, God, pay her back, pay her back, pay her back. For every time we've looked out when we had a performance or a speech or something that we've had to do and looked out and we saw that curly red hair God in the audience, pay her back. For every time that she's just shown up to support us. God, we thank you for every time she showed up at parent-teacher conference to help interpret what they were saying to the families, God. Pay her back. God, we thank you for her faithfulness, her longevity, her stamina, her steadfastness, fastness, God. We just thank you for her life. We thank you for the life of Dr. Valerie McCune. We ask, God, that you pay her back. We ask that you let her live a long, long time. Let her still be sharp in her mind and strong in her body. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Now is your opportunity to sow into her life. Amen. Before we move any further, if you would like to sow into her life, I got a cash app. You, I don't have any more cash. Um, but if, right. <laughs> if you would like to sow into Dr. Val's life, if you would just put it right here in the center section, right here, and um, just bring whatever offering you have. I'm going to use this heart right here. This one that says love, peace, goodness, Holy Ghost, joy, kindness, faithfulness. Let's put it right there on that. That's some good stuff to sow on. Amen. Amen. And while you are sowing, I want to say um, thank you to all the people who attended our Frank and Move trip on yesterday. Amen. We had a wonderful time of fellowship on that bus ride. Everybody uh, obeyed all of our time limits and no person was left behind. <laughs> Volunteers are needed for the day before election and election day to help get our bishop back in her seat. We want her to keep her seat on the school board. Amen. So we will um, make sure that we post it on our Facebook pages and things like that where you can show up. But volunteers are going to be needed. And, of course, you can always inbox bishop. Um, and the meeting is Saturday at 3 o'clock here Okay, so perfect. Show up Saturday at 3, at 2.30, 2.45, so we can start the meeting at 3, so that you can get the um, details for where we would need to be to help Bishop um, keep her seat on the school board for election. Amen. Any other um, announcements? No, I don't have any. Yeah, any other uh, announcements before we move into communion? Amen. So if you would get your communion elements, we'll bring Pastor Val back to lead us in communion. Amen. Praise the Lord. God is good. I hope I said something today that helped you. And this is a part of our shield of faith. That this body there is power. Look at it. His body was broken for us. That we might be healed, that we might be free. Body, soul, and spirit. Look at it and say, My Lord's body. 
Let us eat together. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for healing what I don't even know about. It is said that every disease that has ever fallen or will fall on man, woman, boy, or girl, that this blood, think of it, this blood heals right now. Thank you, Lord, for your blood. My Lord's blood, I take it now. Thank you, Lord. God, we give you glory. We give you praise. We want to say to those of you who have been watching, God bless you. May the Lord keep you. Bishop sends her love. May heaven shine upon you in Jesus' mighty name. Always remember, children, moms, dads, always remember Jesus. Always remember to call on his name. You got two tools today, your shield of faith and calling on the name of Jesus and praying in the Holy Ghost. Now may God's grace, the sweet communion of Holy Spirit, the shield of faith, which will quench the fiery darts of the devil. May his peace rest upon each of you. May his peace be with you, sister, as you minister to those that it's urgent this week. May the Lord be with you. And may heaven and the host have a party this week because we win somebody to Jesus Christ. Because we get somebody filled with the Holy Ghost, heaven will rejoice. Tomorrow, the children who will come from the neighborhood, the children who will get a little piece of candy and a hot dog, God, they'll be blessed. May his sweet communion rest upon you, 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 and even you. From the youngest to the oldest. In Jesus' mighty name, may heaven smile upon you. God bless. We'll see you all next we come on y'all come to the bible study on tuesday to the to the prayer meeting on tuesday the the carters are praying up a mighty burning fire amen come to the meeting on saturday and bring your auntie and them <laughs> we need a hundred people right and if you come bishop told me that she got a little something that she gonna put in the people's hands that help out at the polls okay so all right and she said young people she said young people can work the polls too all right, well, praise God. Hallelujah. Here come my, here come my other adjutant. God bless y'all. Thank you. Would you give praise to my the two dear sisters? My, I call them my worship warriors from, from the Love Rising Lutheran Church. Praise God. I'm going to get them over here to minister. Uh, they minister beautifully t this afternoon, though. Thank God. Oh, and the party tomorrow, y'all. Listen, we only going to be, say, two hours. We only gonna be here from five to seven. So come on through, get you a hot dog, play you a little pin tail on the donkey, hear Deacon Cheryl's wonderful story about the, the story of the pumpkin, two hours. And then we go home, you gonna get some candy we're going to have lots of candy, and it's going to be a blast, and we are inviting the neighborhood. We want the neighborhood to, we never want the house of the Lord to be dark on a day when other houses are having things. Amen? So y'all come through, even if you just come through and say, hey, hey, even if that's what all you do. All right? God bless. Thank you.